everybody and welcome to today's Benedetti Sessions Facebook Live. My name is Lucy and I just wanted to come on a couple of minutes earlier, um, just if there's any early, early birds here. Um, yesterday when I was watching just before Richard started, I could see you all commenting about the different places that you were all watching from and I saw someone was watching from Australia and I was trying to work out the time difference. Um, who's our first person to comment? Megan, hello Megan. Oh, it's so lovely to have you all on. Hi Nikki, how's it going? Oh, this is so brilliant. Um, so I'm just saying for all of you that are joining, I just wanted to start a couple of minutes early um, because I know we all like to be prompt here at the Benedetti Foundation. Um, but also yesterday I was watching the Facebook Live and I could see all your comments about where you were watching from. Oh, we've got somebody, we've got Joe watching in Yorkshire, one of my favourite places. Hello, hello, where else are you watching from? We've got somebody watching from Dubai. This is cool. Where else are you watching from? Tell me just before we get started. From Sutton Coldfield. Oh, amazing. From Chester. Absolutely brilliant. South Wales, fantastic. I have some cousins who live in, in Swansea. It's the most beautiful part of the world, it really is. We've got Northern Ireland, fantastic. And Suffolk, Newcastle, all these brilliant places. Oxford, love Oxford, brilliant town. Wigan, oh, this is so, Abu Dhabi, that's cool. I actually, my godmother lives in Abu Dhabi. I've never been, I would love to go. And Stafford, oh, we're gonna say a couple more places and then we'll get started with today's session. London, Cambridge, Nairobi, wow! From Brighton, from Sunderland, oh wow! Someone's watching from their dining room, fantastic. Glasgow, brilliant, love it, excellent city. The Netherlands, oh thank you so much all for joining. We've got Belfast, someone else from Northern Ireland, from Glasgow's West End, the centre of the universe. Eh? Grimsby, brilliant, Birmingham, all these places, London again. Oh, fantastic. Well, we're gonna get started with today's session. So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's Virtual Benedetti Session Facebook Live. My name is Lucy Drever, and I'm one of the general musicianship tutors at the Benedetti Foundation. And today we're gonna be doing a general musicianship half hour inspired by one of the pieces of music that we're going to be looking at over the three weeks, Fantasia of a theme of Thomas Tallis by Ralph Vaughan Williams. Now, this week, every single day at midday, there's going to be a creative session. Yesterday, Richard led a session in improvisation, very much inspired by another piece that we're all going to be looking at over the next three weeks, the piece by Paganini. Today is inspired by Fantasia on a theme of Thomas Tallis, as I said. Tomorrow, at midday, it's Wellbeing Wednesday with Elena, which I'm so excited for. We really think that well-being is so important at the Benedetti Foundation, so I'm really excited for that one. And then on Thursday and Friday, there's also going to be um, another couple of creative sessions, one on Paganini and one on Fantasia on a theme with Robin and with Patrick. Now, all these sessions at midday will be up on YouTube after, as is everything, you can find everything on YouTube, but they're standalone sessions and just ways for us to start to explore these brilliant pieces of music. You don't need your instrument for today's session, but if you want to have it with you, that's absolutely fine. We're actually going to be using an instrument that every single person has. Does anybody know what that instrument is? Something that we all have. Can anyone let me know in the chat? What instrument do we all have? Whilst you're coming up with the answer, I'll just tell you what we're, else we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a warm up. I'm going to be talking a little bit about Fantasia on a theme of Thomas Tallis, and then I'm going to teach you a, a song 
that I was just really inspired by because it, it features quite a lot of the same things as this piece of music. Um, and then I'm gonna leave you with a creative task to go on your merry way. So we're going to start off with, uh, oh, I can just see someone saying that they live where Vaughan Williams lived. That's cool. That is really cool. Um, so we're gonna start off with a warm up. It's really important that you warm up before you get into your musical activity. Now we actually have a whole playlist on YouTube on Nikki's channel to do with warming up, but I'm gonna lead you through one now. So can everyone, if you're standing, can you stand up nice and straight? And if you're sitting down, can you just make sure that you're sitting up and not slumped like this? If you're anything like me during this lockdown, I've been over my computer, I've been doing my drawing, or maybe you're doing your sewing as well, and I want us to really sit up straight or stand up straight. Fantastic, everyone. And then, oh, someone got it. We all have a voice. That is our instrument. Amazing. I'll tell you more about that in a short while. I hope everyone's doing some circles with your shoulders. Are you all doing it? So we're gonna go back. Is anybody creaking like me? And let's go forward. So these creative sessions at midday every day are for everyone, whether you're two, 92, advanced on your instrument, don't play an instrument, adult learner, they're for everyone. So those are some circles with our shoulders now. Can you hold your shoulders up to your ears? And let it go, amazing. And again, up to your ears. And then let it go. And once more, squeeze your shoulders up to your ears. And then when you think that you can't go higher, I bet you you can. And even higher. And then let your shoulders go. Absolutely fantastic, everyone. And just give them a bit of a shake. Well done. And then take your hands to your face. And can you massage your face? Don't worry about looking silly. I'm looking silly in front of all 604 of you. So that's okay. And then raindrops on your head. Brilliant. So as I said, this is for everyone. It's really important that we all warm up. And then can you all stretch your face as wide as you can? I can see what you had for breakfast. And then make your face as small as possible as small as possible and then as big as you can again and as small as possible fantastic now I'm gonna make some sounds at you using my voice and I would love if you make them back to me here we go everyone still sitting up or standing up nice and straight ch 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 your turn ha 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 Fantastic everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Now I asked you earlier on, what instrument do we all have? And some people have said fingers. You're right, we do all have fingers. Some of you have said clapping with our hands. You're so right, we do have body percussion. I was thinking of another instrument that we all have and that is our voice. And singing is a brilliant way to make yourself feel really good but it's also a really great way, particularly if you're an instrumentalist and maybe you don't do it that much, it's an excellent way to really kind of connect our voice with our ears. Singing is for everyone. And I'm lucky enough in my everyday life that I get to sing with a whole range of people. It's for everyone. So before I tell you a little bit about Fantasia on a theme of Thomas Tallis, I'm gonna teach you a really easy song and it goes like this. Don't worry about singing it the first time through unless you know it, um, but just copy my actions. Here we go. And a one, two, three, four. 
I like the flowers, I like the daffodils, I like the mountains, I like the rolling hills, I like the fireside when the lights are low, singing a do up a do up a do up a do. Fantastic, I hope that you were joining in with the actions. So it went, I like the, what did I like first of all? I like the flowers, I like the, it was daffodils, I like the mountains, I like the rolling hills, I like the fireside when the lights are low, singing a do, up a do, up a do, up a do. This time I want you to sing it as quietly as you possibly can. Here we go everyone, as quietly as you can. And a one, two, three, four. I like the flowers, I like the daffodils, I like the mountains, I like the rolling hills, I like the fireside when the lights are low, singing a do, up a do, up a do, up a do. We're gonna do that again because you were singing far too loudly. As quietly as you can. And a one, two, three, four. I like the flowers. I like the daffodils. I like the mountains. I like the rolling hills. I like the fireside. As loud as you can, let's go! I like the flowers, I like the daffodils, I like the mountains, I like the rolling hills, I like the fireside when the lights are low, singing a do, up a do, up a do, up a do. Absolutely brilliant, everyone. Give yourself a round of applause. So just doing a bit of a warm up to make sure that we're all ready for the next 20 minutes. So as I said, this session is very much inspired by Fantasia on a theme of Thomas Tallis, written by Ralph Vaughan Williams. And Ralph Vaughan Williams, at the beginning of the 1900s, was editing a new English hymnal. And he came across this hymn that was from the 1500s and it was written by the composer Thomas Tallis. He absolutely fell in love with it. So he decided to um, write a piece inspired by it. And this piece of music has really become a firm favourite, um, particularly in the UK, of classical music. And it's a brilliant piece of music. If you haven't listened to it yet, don't worry. If you have listened to it, can you write some descriptive words in the chat about um, either how this piece, piece makes you feel or descriptive words that you would use to describe it? For me, I think peace. I think calm, and I also think timeless. To me, you can't tell that it was written in the 1900s. It could have been written in the 1500s. It could have been written in the year 2020. And I was watching uh, Nikki's introduction video about it, and she kind of said that it was very still, but it had this intensity, and I love that word as well, that even, just as we were doing with I like the flowers, I like the daffodils, we were singing so quietly. It doesn't mean that you lose all energy and all intensity. You have to give it just as much. So, oh, someone's put lyrical, that's an excellent word. Sacred, there are lots of notes, calm, relaxed, it really touches, yep, absolutely. Oh wow, dark with sparkles. I think that we need to change all descriptions on YouTube of these tutorials to dark with sparkles, I love that. I feel like floating, just like Alice in Wonderland, there's so many string instruments, calm, still, intense, absolutely beautiful, calm, relaxed. 
So those of you that have listened to it, these are all excellent descriptive words. If you haven't listened to it, don't worry. You've got the whole three weeks to listen to it and you can decide whether just to listen to two minutes, you can listen to the whole 17 minute piece or there's also a play along video on YouTube with some of our amazing um, tutors playing it and Nikki as well. Um, so you can watch that. But the next song that we're gonna sing using the instrument that we all have, our voice, is called Abby Yo Yo. Can everyone say that for me? Abby Yo Yo. Can you say it even louder? Abby Yo Yo! Brilliant. Those are the lyrics of the song. And this features something that uh, Ralph Vaughan Williams uh, piece has in it, call and response. This is um, a musical technique that many composers, people who write music, use. Very simply, the leader does the call and you are all going to respond with the answer. Call and response. It can be between two groups, um, two groups of musicians. That's how Ralph Vaughan Williams uses it. So I'm going to sing a line and you sing it back to me. Make sure that you're all sitting up nice and straight. It goes like this. Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo. Excellent. So some call and response there. It's a very simple song, but it I wanted to teach you it because it made me think of all the descriptive words that you've been using, the calm, the relaxed, the dark with sparkles. It really made me think of this piece of music if we were going to sing it. It made me think of the talus. Um, so this time, what I want us to do is to Think about where our full stop is in our musical phrase. Right now, and our musical phrase is really just another way of saying our musical sentence. Right now, our musical sentence is like this. Abby yo yo. And that's it. I want you to make your musical sentence longer and to hold on that note. Abby yo yo. So I'm gonna sing you the call. You reply with the response, and our voices are going to be singing over each other. So as I'm holding my Abby yo yo, you're going to be coming in with your phrase, okay? If it's easier just to sing with me, that's absolutely fine. You can be the call as well. But let's have some people being the response. Here we go, everyone, sitting up or standing up nice and straight. Abby yo yo. So changing where the full stop is in our musical phrase. And that really reminded me of Fantasia on a theme of Thomas Tallis because there's all these long, luscious phrases. Um, luscious is another word that Nikki used in her introduction video. 
Now, we're gonna sing this again, and we're gonna do something that musicians have to do. And it's something that sometimes I find quite difficult. It's doing more than two things at once. So this time, I'm gonna sing, I want you to respond again, but I'm gonna be doing some actions. I want you to follow my actions exactly, but you're gonna be responding to my call. Oh, I'm testing you here at the virtual Benedetti sessions. Here we go, everyone. Abby yo yo Abby yo yo Abby yo yo of applause. So being a musician, doing more than two things at once, because if you're a musician, not only do you have to read the music, you have to follow the conductor, you have to listen to what's going on around you, you have to be making a lovely tone and getting the right notes. There's so much to think of. Now, before we move on to um, our next activity, we're just gonna sing that once more. And again, we're gonna move where our full stop is on our musical sentences. Now, I know that some of you um, are really little ones and just stick to the normal call and response, but I know that some of you um, are quite advanced in your musical journey. And this is gonna be a little bit trickier. So I'm gonna always do the same call that I've been doing, but you can do a different response. You can put your full stop wherever you want to on your response. So for instance, I'll go, Abby yo yo, and you can do, ah, or Abby, or Abby yo. You can decide to end your musical phrase before the, the end that we have been singing. And the reason that I wanted to do this linked to Fantasia on a theme is something that Richard was talking about yesterday, and that was harmony. In music, we have, um, harmony is when there are, are two notes together. And he had this lovely way of describing it yesterday that sometimes those notes are quite far apart and sometimes they are really close together. And I like to think of when the notes are close together, it sounds a bit crunchy. Does anybody else think that? Like a little bit crunchy. And um, in this piece, there's loads of kind of crunchy, quite satisfying moments that you will hear when you listen to it. So we're gonna sing Abby Yo Yo again, put the full stop where you want to and create some crunchy moments. Here we go. When I go like this though, we're all gonna come off. Here we go. Abby yo yo Abby yo yo Abby yo yo
we're creating some crunchy harmonies and somebody put heavenly harmonies in the chat and I couldn't agree more. So that was us using Abby Yo-Yo to explore some call and response, to explore the fact that musicians often need to do more than two things at once and to explore this idea of putting our full stop at different points of our musical sentences, our musical phrases. Now, before I tell you about the last creative task that I'm going to leave you with, I just want to point you in the direction of Nicola Benedetti on YouTube. All the videos that you see this week are gonna be up on YouTube, and there's also some creative tutorials. And I designed one for you all about this piece of music. And can I just say thank you to everyone who's already sent in some creative responses to this piece of music. We, we explore the fact that the composers lived almost 400 years apart. We think about time travel because that also influenced this piece. And we also think about the phrase using our past to inform our future. And I was thinking that with Abby Yo-Yo, if you wanted to rewrite the lyrics, with lyrics inspired by what you want for your future, that could be something that you could do. So that video is up on YouTube right now and definitely go and check it out along with all the other amazing, amazing tutors. Now, just before we finish off, I was thinking about some composition, some writing music, and I was thinking about how Thomas Tallis inspired Ralph Vaughan Williams, and we're gonna get inspired by Ralph Vaughan Williams to create some very simple melodies. Now, you might be the most advanced player on your instrument, but have you ever composed a very simple melody inspired by a piece of music? Or whether you're an adult learner, I know that there's so many of you with us, whether you're picking up your instrument for the first time in 30 years, whether you're grade eight, grade three, grade one, you can get involved with this. You can either use your instrument, and I was thinking about the fact that this piece was premiered in a cathedral, and it was inspired by a hymn, so there's quite a lot of religious connotations, and I, that makes me think of church bells. So I want you to listen to Fantasia on a theme of Thomas Tallis, and come up with your own really simple, melody, either on your instrument or, like me, if you don't play an instrument and you just have what you um, can find at home, I have another activity for you. So, bit of a set change. I'm going to bring in this table. Ooh, bring in this table. Eek. And can you see, if I move along there, you might be able to see that I have some glasses of water. These are just glasses that I had in my cupboards. You can see one with not very much water, one with kind of medium water, and one full up. And I was thinking that whatever level of musician you are, there's always going to be something for you at the Benedetti Foundation. So I want you to come up with your own church bell, Thomas Tallis, Vaughan Williams inspired melody. With three glasses filled with water, different levels, listen to what I can do. I can come up with my own church bell melody. Now maybe that was a bit too funky if I was gonna actually be inspired by the Thomas Tallis and maybe it would be a bit more still. Something like that. So whether you have an instrument at home, whether you have um, glasses, whether you have, I actually was thinking about a baking tin as well. You could use that. Um, basically get creative and come up, compose your own melody inspired by this piece of music. Can I just say, as I'm ending this session, thank you so much to all of you for joining me. And just a bit of a behind the scenes, 
All the Benedetti Foundation tutors are on a WhatsApp group where we can communicate with each other. And I wish that you could have read the messages yesterday. We were all so excited that so many of you are joining us on YouTube, on the Facebook Lives, and um, so many of you are joining with the tutorials. It just was absolute joy on the WhatsApp. Thank you so much for this epic feeling of community. We really could not do this virtual Benedetti sessions without you and from all of us, thank you so much. Personally, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be back with you next Tuesday. Remember, Elena's going to have her Wellbeing Wednesday session tomorrow at midday. Nikki's going to be on later at 8pm chatting with the parents. We also have Lucinda who's going to be doing an introduction to Kadai at half past six. That's today as well. So there's so much and don't worry if you miss anything because it will all be on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. You've been absolutely amazing. Stay safe, stay well and I will see you next Tuesday. Goodbye everyone.